Hey guys, T Dunks here, back with my second Knights and Dragons video of the day. And uh, today's gonna be the news. Right now, I'm gonna do a news update for you guys and uh, go over the last arena. So, here we go. Alrighty, guys, so this is for the Blaze Stone Mantle. Um, I told you guys in my last update that this was gonna be a crazy war. I think uh, Kaiwer, Kaiwer here actually beats. Uh, what DK Axio put up, I think he, DK Axio put up 1.4 one time in Arena. Um, AF Kai, Kaiware got 1.5 here. So congrats to him. He's going home with that Bladestone Mantle Plus. Uh, Shimigami ended up taking second with Bruce Leroy taking third. So congrats to them guys. Uh, they all go home with that Bladestone Mantle. So like I said, this is going to be a crazy, crazy uh, Arena here guys. Generally... First usually blows away second, and then second and third can sometimes be close, but they were all within 200,000 points here, so great job to them. Uh, congrats on getting that Blaystone Mantle, so I'll go ahead and I'll collect my rewards here. Uh, there we go, and now I'm going to go ahead and walk through the news. So just announced today is the Fusion Fighters Blitz starting in about two days, so it's going to be a Saturday-Sunday war, uh, which is alright with me for a water fusion boost is this blitz the whole all right and i'm actually going top 25 for the fusion blitz guys i'll announce in a second who i'm running with guys so i know a lot of people have been uh pming me asking who you're running with blah 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 blah, blah. i'm gonna go ahead and release this week who i'm running with so next is the horseman's boss collection so this the last uh boss came out this week came out um, a couple days ago, and that's death. So, uh, you actually have uh, 13 days still to redeem, uh, to get like your epic bosses plus um, cooked and everything like that. So, um, to get that Northerners battle gear, and then you get those five keys. So, they actually extended the redemption period because before it was only, I think maybe a couple days after death was done, like. The 24th or something but now it's the 28th so you do have a few extra days which works out for a lot of people probably going to get a lot of people this northerners so uh go ahead keep on uh kicking that eb's butt man um it's big you can get five keys who knows maybe you can pull out the next epic so like i said um the epic boss for this week is death uh the last of the four horsemen he's a spirit wind type so uh, the last one that we had was the Voodoo robes. Uh, it's got 1412 attack, 1584 defense, so it is slightly a defensive armor. Uh, pretty cool looking armor. The one thing that I really can appreciate from Gree in this Epic Boss Collection is they paid a lot of attention to the little details in the Epic Bosses, guys. The weapons pretty much all looked awesome on them. And the epic bosses themselves, the ones that were fighting, actually look awesome too. So I'm really satisfied with what Greed did for this uh, collection here, guys. But this next part makes zero, none, absolutely no sense to me. So, Dark Destiny is the next arena. And look at that. What's the reward? Northerners. I don't get it. Northerners for the reward here. But why not? I guarantee those people that take top three in arena are already going to have northerners from this. The only really nice thing is that person who takes first gets the plus version. But, yeah, guys, that makes no sense to me. I mean, I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> Weird word, but I'm flabbergasted as to why we would do this. They were on a roll there, pumping in some money for them with the blaze stone and everything like that. You know, I figured that they were going to keep it up and put maybe Sandstorm in there or Druidic for the Epic Prize, but nope, they do something really, really stupid and uh, put Northerners in there when it's a redeemable prize here in about two weeks. So, yeah, guys, that's what's going on this week for the Epic Boss Collection. So, it's time. I'm going to go ahead and reveal the guild that I'm running top 25 this Fusion Blitz with. So, here we go. It is Legends of War, guys. So I actually did a uh, spotlight on these guys just about a week ago, a week and a half ago. And uh, after that, you know, we kind of just stayed in touch. And uh, 
they asked me, hey, you want to make a run with us? And I'm down. Um, they knew that I was looking to go top 25 or top 10, so they invited me on board. So uh, this week I am going top 25, hopefully with those guys. Next week I still plan on going top 10, guys. So I'm really excited about that. Stay tuned. But uh, now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of um, battles here in the arena. Sorry about that. <clears> Throw <throat> got a little dry. And I'm going to explain to you guys um, some stuff about like top 25, top 10. So top 25 and top 20... Top 25 and top 10 guilds, guys, generally operate a lot different from, uh, you know, top 250 guilds, stuff like that. I mean, it's still the same basis. You're still going to fight in wars, but, uh, for instance, you know, most people in the top 250 just try to blow their opponents out of the water right away, gem, get crazy, you know, and just full out beat them. Most top 25 and top 10 uh, guilds, with, like, you know, half hour left, Try to stay within like 2,000 points of each other so that they could hopefully draw a Frenzy. Because if nobody, you know, if you guys are new to this game, Frenzies give you a 20% bonus when attacking, when, you know, for your final points. So that's really big. That can, you know, if you're doing 2,000 points, now you just did 2,200 points, you know. It adds a lot. Well, actually, it'd be 2,400 points. Sorry. My bad, guys. So, you know, 400 points, and for these people that gem non-stop, you know, that adds up really quickly, guys. So, um, you know, these these fusion frenzies are really important to uh, the top 25 and top 10 guilds. Also, a lot of top 25, top 10 guilds pull all-nighters. So, uh, for instance, this fusion blitz war, I know me, um, John, which is a guildmate in the Legends of War, and their GM, Matt, are going to be pulling an all-nighter. So, um, we plan on staying up, keeping up the war, and hopefully getting in and getting that top 10 or top 25 spot. So, that's one thing that's separate. You know, when I was running top 25, I really, I mean, top 250, sorry guys, I keep on getting it mixed up. But top 250, you know, we didn't stay up all night. We went to bed, you know, hope that when we got up in the morning, we didn't fall too far. But top 25 and top 10, you can't do that, you know. It's it's a lot more intense. It's a lot more at stake because you're gemming to get there. So it's not like you're just playing with, you know, your four energy that you get every war or whatever. You're playing with real-life money that you just put down. So it means a lot more. There's a lot more at stake. Um, also, um, line. they all, all top 25 guilds, I can guarantee it, use line app or kick but most likely line because it's most predominant but yeah guys so they what they do is some guilds even say okay we're gonna attack the war starts at one we're gonna declare at one and then we're gonna declare at 2.30 and then we're gonna declare at four they have a schedule they set it they're like this is what we're doing you guys just be on then so you know that they know their members can just get on fight get done, you know, gem a little bit, and then be over with. You know, it's not sitting around like, oh, I wonder if we should declare now. No, that's not how it goes with the top 25 and top 10 guys. So it's a little bit different in that sense. Um, and then, like I said before, top 25 and top 10 guys, they're gemming. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at a minimum of a certain amount of gems here. I'm actually probably going to double that minimum just to make sure and keep it safe. But, um... Yeah, guys, I mean, I'm really excited for this. I, I've never made a top 25 run. I've never made a top 10 run. Actually, to be, like, completely honest, I've never even been in the top 100, guys. So, I'm extremely excited for this. I'm thankful that, you know, John and Matt gave me the opportunity to join them for this. And uh, I hope, you know, it's a hell of a war. And hopefully we come out with that top 25 spot, guys. But, uh, yeah, you guys will probably get an episode tomorrow. And then we'll get one uh Sunday at the end of the war. But um until then guys, this is T Dunk signing off.